Yo, what's going on guys? Dr. Root 7 signing in back with another tutorial video. This is going to be about the unofficial ports that I've been posting in the past couple of weeks on the PlayStation Vita. Now, I love this console and I want to spread my affection for the console and share it with you guys. You guys are my friends, my subscribers. I want the best for you guys so that you can get a very great gaming experience on your handheld devices now on my videos i have seen on those unofficial port videos i have seen several comments saying that they are not able to run them they are running into some error messages or black screen or some sort makes me feel bad bruv like to be quite honest the whole point of me making these tutorials is for you to get a good experience like how i'm getting you know when you're not getting that the whole purpose of the video is becoming void I don't want that shit. So that's the whole purpose of me making this separate tutorial. These are the stuffs that you need to perform in order for these unofficial ports to run properly. I'm not gonna drag this too long. Go into this link in the description and type in Shark Breed. Shark Breed is a very important app that is going to install and extract all the important files that are required to run the sound official ports the playstation mobile applications a lot of these stuffs which we cannot download individually so just go ahead and download this vpk file copy it to the root of your sd card and paste it and just install it like how you do with all the other vpks once that's done I'm gonna show you guys what to do on the PlayStation Vita. However, just make sure that you follow exactly what I show on the videos because I follow these guides and then just put them in video format so that you guys can get a visual representation of these guides. People, including myself, I prefer visual tutorials over written ones because sometimes I feel overwhelmed. Sometimes I don't understand some of these stuffs. It can happen to anyone, right? So that's when we look for visual representation and that's where I come in. That's where my videos come in. Make sure that you follow for these kind of unofficial ports. You follow everything step by step. If it doesn't work, I'm sorry, man. Whatever is shown, these are the only ways that you can implement to make the games run unless there are any other alternatives which i don't know of okay i'm providing you everything based on my experience and knowledge one thing i have understood is that the game data files needs to be copied and pasted inside the created folder in specific ways and stuff like that i don't care where you gather your game files from i believe that it's a great idea to support the developers if you want to do that it's amazing i own all the current gen consoles I I love PlayStation. I've always bought the games that I've loved. It totally depends on you. If you want to show your support, go ahead and do so. Buy those games and show your support. If not, if you have other means to acquire those files from, do your thing, man, because it's none of my business. Okay. Okay, guys, on the PlayStation Vita, we have Shark Grid installed. Another important homebrew app that you need to install is Auto Plugin 2. You should have this app installed right after you're done with the jailbreak process. For those who do not have Auto Plugin 2 installed, just follow the same method. Go to the link in the description, download the VPK file, copy and paste it to the SD card, and just install it. Start Auto Plugin 2. Go into Vita plugins, go into uninstall plugins. Now here we're going to uninstall two plugins. The first would be Repatch or FD Fix. For those users who has both Repatch and FD Fix installed, there you go, that's your problem. You cannot have both Repatch and FD Fix installed at the same time. It's going to overlap and it's going to create errors or issues while running these unofficial ports. Make sure that you have either Repatch or FD Fix, either one of these two installed. If you have both of these installed, then just uninstall both of them, along with QBridge.SKPRX, and then restart your PlayStation Vita come back into the screen go into install plugins and we're going to do a fresh install of these plugins first here it's fd fix by the official flow if you prefer fd fix then install fd fix i installed repatch second you're going to install qbridge additionally you're going to make sure that you have no npdrm along with no psm drm installed as well i'm going to make sure that you guys are equipped with all the necessary stuffs so that you do not face any kind of issues while running these games. After that, you're going to restart your PlayStation Vita. If you're going to download FD Fix through the Auto Plugins 2, I don't think you're required to do this step. However, it's best that I show you guys. Go into URO, go into TIE, go into config.txt and see if you have these two command lines included under kernel. 
pause the video and check if these two command lines are included under kernel if you do not have those added you're going to add those number 12 there is a blank line press the right d-pad you're going to insert another blank line since we're going to need to include both of those command prompts hit on x this is where you're going to add in that command line add in those command lines hit on the down arrow hit on circle and just save your modifications make sure you restart your playstation vita go ahead and run shark breed you do not have to do much you just let it do its thing once it's done doing its stuff exit out of shark breed and the runtime package for me it's not going to take too much of time because i keep on updating this also make sure you have playstation mobile runtime package downloaded and installed go into pkgj go on search you're going to write playstation mobile and this is what's gonna come up playstation mobile runtime package now this is an additional thing like i have said this video is about all the plugins necessary plugins in order to get a complete jailbreak experience restart your playstation vita just as a safety measure and then you're going to go ahead and run your vita ports i'm very much hopeful that if you're going to follow these steps definitely you would have a seamless experience if it works don't forget to mention that it worked for you in the comment section by dropping in a like and new users hit that subscribe button it's going to mean a lot to me i'm going to see you guys dr brute 7 signing off peace